Okay, this is uh, day two of um, rehab after total knee surgery. There's Jamie. Again. And, else and there's everybody else. There's Mike. And there's there's everybody else. Um, there's Jen over there. Caitlin. Austin. Is it Austin? Yeah. Dustin. And there's Mike, Abby, Mike. Okay, so as you might recall from uh, day one, show you the, what progress is in the knee. We've lost some of the butterflies. We lost some of the butterfly stitches, um, or um, I guess butterfly strips, from day two, from day from day one, and you can start to see the scar. Get a little bit closer here, so you can kind of see that. By the way, I'm just going to make a comment that they've um, cut in the paint <laughs> since last time I was here. Um, last time you saw it, I was making some joke about how professionally painted it was, and actually it looks really nice now. So, see the facility here at the Athletic Performance Center is a really nice facility. People have asked, why am I documenting this rehab? It's because there's nowhere on the web that anybody is showing you how rehab works for like a total knee replacement. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna document day by day my progress with um, knee rehabilitation, the types of things that we're doing, and Jamie, who's gonna be the primary therapist for me, is gonna be talking about uh, why we're doing what we're doing and the purposes behind it. So. Here we go, day two, rehab. Do a before picture? Okay, we're gonna do then after. <laughs> Okay, so Jamie is gonna clean some of this, uh, clean some of this off, and so we're gonna do, this is a before, and then we'll kind of show you what's going on after. Some people would not want to see this this morning, not to be bothered. There we go, let's take a look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just hair, buddy. It's just hair. Doesn't that just feel delicious? So these are the, uh, we're taking off the... Um, surgical blisters. The, the surgical blisters. There's a lot of hair there, so I'm getting, um, he's peeling off the rest of these scabs. These are the scabs. Can you pull out that big, pull out the big one there, Jamie. It looks like a piece of beef jerky. Look at, this is, uh, oh. this is, a, that is, the got, actual, that, that is an actual too. scab. That, what Jamie's going to do here is he's going to, Manipulate the kneecap. Mobilize. Mobilize? Yeah, I'm not a chiropractor. I don't do manipulation. <laughs> I'm mobilizing it. I'm moving it. Okay, I gotcha. So he's been, why, why is it important that we get movement? Why, I mean, no, seriously, why, why is that important that you make that move? When you bend and straighten your knee? Yes. It moves up and down. Right. The kneecap does. Well, if it's stuck, it's not going to move up and down when you try to bend your knee. There's, Two reasons why I ask the questions. One, I mean, uh, my knowledge, but no, but it's for the web. <laughs> it's so that people, people who have had the surgery, you know, when this, when a therapist comes in and says, "Okay, I'm moving the kneecap," you know, a lot of people go, "Why would you do that?" Um, and you know, because you're moving it from left to right, and I would think that the movement would be, you know, more of a I guess vertical. So I'm going like here's 12 o'clock, here's 6 o'clock in my mind. Yeah. So I mobilize three to nine. Then you, you just do different clock angles. Ah, and so different clock angles. You start here. I got you. The hardest one is from six to 12. Yeah, but if you loosen up like three to three to nine, three to nine. And two to eight, and you know, then, then it'll move. Further. 12 to six will be easier to move. I mean, would you say this is typical physical therapy? That, that most physical therapists would do this type of thing? Patellar moves? Yeah, patellar moves. should. Um, yeah, I hope so. Okay. <laughs> because I know like uh, my, uh, when I had my in-house, uh, uh, my home health, therapy. Home, home health therapy, he came in, he was manipulating the kneecap. Yeah. I mean, that would be something he would do every day as part of therapy. So. I was just curious. Well, because scar tissue starts laying down after day one. Uh -huh. And so the sooner, you got to let it heal, you know, for a few days, but the sooner right. you can get it moving, the less scar tissue is going to build up after. Right. It's like your shoulder, you know, right. letting it get stiff. <laughs> yeah, because it was interesting because I'm, the first day I got back home from the hospital and he came in, that was the very first thing he did. Yeah. Was, uh, we can We can tell a lot. On what your motion is going to be based on how well your patella moves early on. Okay, so this is the um, leg raises, 10 seconds. 
we've got the um, tens machine that Jamie's sitting up here, and that's good. Um, yeah, that's really good. Okay, we were at we were at forty, um, whatever that means. I'm at forty five today, but basically, he wants me to do is I'm going to hold my knee straight or as straight as I can for 10 seconds, as long as the electrical impulses are on the knee, and then let it relax. Um, and I think that's for probably about five or 10 seconds. And then um, what he's doing right now is he's putting on a two pound weight, so we can strengthen the, um, we're gonna try to strengthen the quad as much as possible. Okay, so that's over, we did good. We did pretty good, because we had um, two pound weights today, and, um, we can go up and wait, I think, maybe on Monday when we come back for um, day three of rehab. So it's pretty exciting that we're uh, getting some improvement. Okay, so we're going over to the bike. I'm kind of dreading the bike because I knew this was eventually going to come. It's just that I know that I don't have the kind of range of motion that I need to do it. So here we go. So the goal here is to just kind of, kind of rock up and then rock kind of back. Five seconds at each end. Five seconds, five, five seconds at each end? Yeah, don't lean. Don't lean. Okay, so we're just gonna try to, so we go hold for five seconds. You're pushing with that right leg, make it. I am, I'm pushing. Okay, just checking. So he wants me to push with my right leg, hold this leg for five seconds, and then we come back around, and now I'm pushing again with this leg while I'm curling this leg under and holding for five seconds, and we're gonna we're gonna continue to do we're gonna continue to do this process for um, several minutes. Somebody brought up a point they want to know, like, well, how much pain is there? You know, when you're trying to do this and you're trying to push yourself, you know. And you know, that's a great question. I don't know how to describe to you how much pain. I can just tell you that you know, if you had a scale of one to ten. Um, and I'm pressing right now, and uh, you would ask me how much pain am I pushing myself? I would probably tell you it's probably about a five or a six right now that I'm pushing myself. When Jamie pushes my, when Jamie pushes me, it's probably closer to a seven or eight. Uh, now, this direction is much harder, so I would say it's closer to a seven. But you've got to push yourself with the pain because if you don't push yourself through the pain, you're just not going to get better. Okay, so basically there's this... Um, there, it's a TheraBand pad, and um, he, what they're going to try to do is create some balance. I'm going to hold on to the uh, bike here as much as I need to, but what they want me to do is slightly bend this knee and balance myself as much as possible over the top of it, which is going to be a little stable. Now, I'm not going to be able to hold the camera on this so that you can actually see it, but you should see kind of what they're having me do, and I'll kind of describe it after the fact of what I did. Okay, so we just finished with those um, step-ups or this, the holds over there that he was demonstrating. And that actually, the biggest concern for me doing those, I couldn't film it, was I couldn't, I didn't have enough confidence in the strength in my quad because I felt like my quad uh, had, I felt like my quad head is just so weak right in here that uh, I was afraid I was going to fall. But we made it through, which is good, and we did, we did okay. Um, had to grip pretty hard on the bike to keep me from falling over. Um, you, by the way, you could see after he's taken off all those scabs how much cleaner my knee looks. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? So now we're gonna ice and stim for the next 15 to 20 minutes and call it. And that's the end of day two of rehab. See you at day three, bye.